Okay, let's uh, let's start. Let's start. You know, it's exciting, exciting stuff. You know, you're making your UFC debut against Jessica Penne in Long Island. The original opponent pulls out. You slide in. Jumping into like a fight with a rank opponent, you know, being in that position. What are the emotions for you? Honestly, I'm not surprised. Um, we kind of knew. Me and my coach kind of knew that they were gonna give us somebody in the UFC, like not someone making their debut or not somebody like, you know with only a couple of fights, we kind of had a feeling because my record is kind of big. You know, I, I can't be matched up with some of these newer girls that have like, you know, five fights maybe. So we kind of were expecting it like a, a more experienced opponent for sure. Um, so I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a great position to be in. In my opinion, it's a, it's a perfect position for yourself. You know, you face the top of the mountain in Invicta, Bellator, and, you know, the label battle tested, you know, gets thrown around. You know, some people praise you for that. Do you think that, you know, that's one of the things that separates you from all these other fighters that are debuting in the UFC nowadays? Yeah, honestly, um, I think a lot of these girls wanted to build a record and to go with like a nice, pretty record, like 5-0, and 6-0, and whatever. Um, not to say that none of them have fought good people, but a lot of them have not fought a lot of challenging fights before. Like maybe they had one or two challenging fights um, with like decently ranked opponents. But I just feel like a lot of people now are trying to set up their record more than preparing themselves. Like they're like, oh, I just got to get there, just got to get there. And then I guess lose and then figure it out after that. And I don't know. Um, I just feel like, I mean, and it is stressful to get there. So I understand the fact that you want to build a nice, pretty record to, to make your way over there. But, but then you get there and there's no easy fight. So what are you going to do? You know, so I feel like I've always had all these hard fights like my entire career. And that definitely gives me confidence to step in there and know that I've I've fought a lot of people. I've been challenged and, you know, I've won, I've lost. But I've also you know learned so much about myself because of those fight so I'm really thankful that my coach and my manager um kind of understand that we're all on the same page like I didn't want easy fights I, I my record's not pretty anymore so I'm not I'm not afraid to to fight anybody and and that's what I want I want to fight the very best do you look at your record as a, a new record now you know like you're in the UFC so you gotta start your your new your your next I guess level of your career is that it, can you look at your career like that yeah I can so it's not like it's not like I'm looking at it like I'm zero zero or anything like that so um I'm kind of tabling it from where I'm starting with my my record overall but definitely like the UFC is like a new chapter so I'm like this is my UFC career that's starting and it's like a new chapter here so uh, not so much about the record but definitely about like where I am and, and where we're starting and I'm really excited to start my UFC career for sure yeah you've had uh, 17 professional fights do you have do you still have a prospect mentality or do, do you consider yourself a veteran of the sport yeah it's kind of hard uh, because I'm I have so many fights but I'm also like not so old in the sport like I'm 28 so I understand that that's kind of young um it's not like a baby you know there are some babies out there 21 22 but the amount of fights that I have I do feel like I am a prospect but then I also feel like because I have so many fights I am a veteran so it's kind of it's kind of weird I'm, I'm somewhere in the middle but I definitely do feel like I'm a little bit of both and uh you know when, when I look at your record you know one thing kind of sticks out is that you you lost your first pro fight, you know, and there's a lot of successful fighters that lost their pro first pro fight. Zhang Wei Li, Chris Cyborg, just to name a few, you know, being in that position, what did you learn from that experience and how did that experience impact you moving forward? Yeah. So I look at like, if you lose your debut, it's kind of like you either decide you want to do it or you decide you don't. And I decided from there that I wanted to do it. And, um, I just needed to figure it out. Like, why did I lose? Um, what can I do so that that doesn't happen again? And I did that a lot in my career. Like if I made mistakes, I, I kind of was like, well, I don't want to do that again. Um, so I tried to adjust and adjust, but you have to be careful with that because then if you're, you know, <laughs> if you're too scared to do anything at all, it's kind of like, well, what are you doing here? So uh, you need to be careful with the adjustments. And, and I definitely hit a, it hit a point where I was like, I can't be afraid to go out there and fight 
but you do need to be smart. So I feel really good where I am now. I feel like I'm make, making adjustments, but not to where it's hindering, like me going out there and just like doing a full, a full scale of performance. So um, there's no areas of the game where I'm, I'm nervous to be in a fight anymore. Um, so I definitely, you know, a loss will, will light a fighter fire under my butt, but you know, it sucks. It sucks, especially uh, with records because you need, you need a good record to be, you know, to get to those high level shows, regardless if you're talented or not, like you can be talented and, and you can never, you could possibly like not make it. And so it's just a challenge. It's really a challenge. The whole game is like really a challenge. Yeah. And you know, um, you know, you get the news of the UFC, you sign the contract, there's about six weeks le uh, until the show, you know, how long, how long you, are your camps usually? Are they around six to eight weeks or so? Yeah, it depends. Um, I feel like six to eight weeks is like a, a really good timeline for me. I don't like to have a super, super long camp. Like three months just seems crazy to me. It's just like a long time to like overthink things and like, you're just like, just exhausting. So I've done that before where I've had like a long camp and by the end of it, I was like, man, that was a long camp. So, uh, but I, I, anything under four, like three to four is like kind of, I would consider that short, short notice. Um, like a few people had, had asked me like, Oh, this is a short notice fight. And I was like, not really like six weeks is perfect timing for me. Um, you know, it wasn't enough time for me to kind of plan traveling to get, um, make a trip to Florida. I've got like a coach that I like to work with out there, like to go visit some of the girls that I train with. But, um, since it was so close after my May fight, I just feel like it was a continuation more of. So, um, feeling really, really good about that timing. So where are you splitting your time then? You know, you, you, you kind of put your camp together real quick. So where are you working at? Primarily did my entire camp here. Um, my last camp for the May fight, I had Mallory Martin come out and then I had my coach Daniel Mendez in Florida who we went, we go back and forth. So we've gone there and he's come here. Um, so I've just been here working with my team here, but we have been doing like online with my coach in Florida and just kind of like keeping it, keeping it home. Um, I just didn't want to, you know, stress myself out trying to get all these trips and stuff. So I feel really good, relaxed and ready and, and happy with how my camp was. And, you know, next time, if I have more time, I'll definitely change it up. Like every camp is different. So. Yeah, that's great to hear. And uh, Jessica Penny, you know, she's, been with the UFC since the inauguration of the division and she's still at the top of the the rankings which is pretty insane you know what are, what type of style do you see in her fighting so she came up through Invicta then she made her way into the UFC so I'm very familiar with her just because I watch you know all the Invicta cards pretty much any high level girls fight I, I, I'll watch um so I'm very familiar with her I do feel like she's a really technical fighter which is something that I like um uh, in my mind, there's two types of fighters, more of like a brawler and more of like a technical person. And she's technical, um, grappling, you know, I feel like she wants to hit the ground. She's not afraid to strike to get there, but I do feel like if she could have her way, she would definitely, you know, want to be on the ground. Um, so I feel like she's got some judo. So judo and grappling is what I'm really expecting, but very technical style, um, high level for sure. Yeah, she came back last year after four years away and, and won both of her fights against pretty good good competition, you know, and, and when you rewatch those fights, what do you think her opponents did wrong? What's the mistakes that you saw? Well, that was Lupi's debut, so and, I, and it was short notice, so um, I think she just probably didn't fully prepare for specifics. She just kind of went out and fought, um, and Penne is technical, so you do need to have, like, a strategy against her. Um, and Carolina... I think her last fight against Felice, she looked amazing, amazing, amazing. But before then, she had these fights where she was, like, saying that she wasn't herself almost. And and so I think that just wasn't her. And she maybe, like, freaked out when it hit the ground, made, made mistakes. She made mistakes on the ground. She gave the back. It's something you don't do against Jessica Penne. Um, so I just feel like lack of strategy and then just, like, some small mistakes led to – them but as I mean Penny took full advantage of that so like they made a mistake but she took full advantage you know she set them up and, and she was able to to get both those wins in impressive fashion so um I'm for sure expecting a high level 
best type of performance from Penny. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, she's fought, you know, Joanna. She fought, you know, Jessica Andrade back in the day when, you know, in her first run, I guess, with the UFC. Um, do you see any differences in her style or do you see pretty much the same fighter now? I think she's similar, but she's got better technique now. She looks sharper to me. Um, like, she knows where she wants the fight to go. And she's doing a better job of getting it there. Like, instead of just like, oh, I can't take you down. Let me just stand and strike with you. She's more urgently getting it to where she needs to be successful. So I think that she's sharpened up technique and she's sharpened up strategy. Like, hey, where do I need to win the fight? On the ground. So let's get it to the ground. Um, you know, you're not going to strike Ioana. You're not going to strike Jessica Andrade. So those are, those are kind of like, I don't want to do that either. <laughs> yeah, there. And, you know, UFC Long Island, what type of performance are you expecting out of yourself against Jessica Penny? I feel really good, uh, especially my last few fights. So I'm just looking to go out there. Um, I've just been sharpening everything up, you know, sharpening my, my strengths and my weaknesses. So um, I look to have a sharp, smart performance. And, and I think it's going to hit everywhere. I think it'll be like a full MMA fight. Um, and I'm just looking to, to keep it, get out there, feel feel where I feel most successful and just keep it there and, and do whatever I need to do. You know, it's very rare that uh, a fighter goes in to their debut against like a former title challenger, you know, a, a, you know, a fighter that's in the rankings, you know, do you expect to fight, you know, you, you expect to win. Do you expect after that to fight the next ranked person or are you going to take it slow? It doesn't matter what happens in this fight. Yeah. I don't really like to look ahead. I like to keep it one fight at a time. So it just because there's too many possibilities. Like I could say now I could list out like an entire plan, say who I want to fight, but it just, there's so many girls. And so it could just like not ever happen. Like I could, I could really want this one matchup. It'll never happen. So I just take it one fight at a time after this, whoever they offer is the fight that I'll prepare for. July 16th, UFC Long Island. Emily, thank you so much for the time. You know, all the best in your debut. I think this is going to be one of those fights that people are going to be talking about. It's a great matchup. Thank you. I appreciate it.